All right, what's up, gang? You know, we have our fun here on Let's Play with Briggins, but every now and then we are contractually obligated to learn you something, and that is what today is about. Uh-oh. Let me guess. Someone stole something, and they're not wearing any pants. Sweet trench coat, by the way, though. Gunshots. Now they just have the nightsticks. <laughs> kind of looks like they're flipping off uh, the camera. But anyway, Carmen's gang has pulled another caper. It's up to you to crack the case. That's right. We are playing Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? 1990. Um, there were a lot of Carmen San Diego games. There was, what was it? There was Where in Space is Carmen San Diego? There was, uh, I'm not sure how that worked, by the way. How did she? steal what was there to steal in space and how did she breathe uh but there was where in time is carmen san diego that was a good one where in jersey is carmen san there were a lot of games but this is the one that started them all so let's start a brand new game about carmen <laughs> i mean she's awesome she's kind of like an anti-hero heroine heroine but there'll be plenty of time to talk about that all right detective at keyboard please identify yourself uh, we gotta keep with the branding, right? LPW Briggins. We are Detective Briggins. The gum shoe. There's no record of your name on the, uh, International Police fi Interpol Files. Are you new here? Um, I mean, I wanna act like I did a lot of great crime solving in the past, but yeah, we're new. You have been identified. Let's play with brigands, you big old creeper. All right, we are a rookie. That's okay. We're going to have to make that work. Um, national treasure stolen from Mexico City. The treasure has been identified as an Orozco mural. She stole a mural? Well, all right, hold on. It's not necessarily Carmen. It might have been one of her, uh, one of her underlings. I remember that from the show. Remember the show? What a great song. Where in the world is Gobba San Diego? Ah, that was the most, man. Oh, it's a male suspect. Okay, report it at the scene of the crime. Your assignment? Track the thief from his Mexico City, from Mexico City to his hideout and arrest him. All right. Those are our orders. You must apprehend the thief by Sunday at 5 o'clock. So we have six days, roughly, just over six days. Good luck, rookie. Let's play with brigands. They would have to rub that in. All right. I was saying before I hit record, this is not, geography is not my strong suit, but uh, especially 1990 geography, but we'll try to figure this out. Mexico is about three times the size of Texas and has terrain ranging from rugged mountains to harsh deserts and tropical lowlands. Told you I'd learn you something. Uh, all right, let's see what our options are here. So these are the places we can go in Mexico City. We can just click on crime. I guess if we get frustrated and just want to commit a crime ourselves, that's what we can do here. Oh, uh, we can put the information into the uh, the database. Well, we know it's a male. They already told us that. They were kind enough, so. How many matches did we get? <laughs> All right. Only oh, no, that took three hours. <laughs> we already burned three hours of our very valuable... Uh, Crime-solving time. Thankfully, our list is pretty short. There's only five people in the entire world that steal things in 1990. It was a simpler time. Any guesses early on? Ihor Ihorovich, Fast Eddie B, Nick Brunch. <laughs> His last name is Brunch. Scar Grainolt or Len Bulk. All right. Uh, I don't want to profile, but I think it might be a Len Bulk. I'm just saying. All right, we'll come back to this. I think uh, it might be a bit too soon, considering we know nothing else about the, the perp. Let's see, Rio de Janeiro, Colombo. Is Colombo here? He's trying to steal this cage out from under me, that damn Colombo. He's so good, too. He always gets results. All right. Let's, uh, let's go to the museum. Is that where it, did they even tell us where it was stolen? They literally just said it was somewhere in Mexico City. A suspicious person was here, and he was researching the ancient Veda culture and mythology. Veda culture and mythology. 
there's some clue in that as to where we might need to go next. And the more familiar you are with like, you know, the first clue, you can just say, okay, that guy went to Rome or something like that. In this case, I might need a bit more because I don't know what that means. Let's go to the airport. My sources tell me, your sources, he's a flight attendant. Okay. My sources tell me he left in a plane with a golden lion flag on its wing. A golden lion flag. Which country has a golden lion on its flag? We're burning time every time we go to one of these different places, unfortunately. I heard he was looking for information on ancient taprobane. Ancient taprobane. All right. So our options now are Rio de Janeiro. Oh, that, that's what we were looking at earlier. Montreal or Colombo. It kind of sounds like we're heading to <laughs> New Jersey. Kind of sounds like we might need to go to Asia. So I guess I will go with Colombo. A little embarrassed that I was implying that it was the uh, the television slash movie crime solver Colombo <laughs> and not a place in Sri Lanka. But anyway, Sri Lanka has a hot, humid climate. The principal crops grown on this island nation are tea, coconuts, and rice. Yeah, interesting. All right, we still don't know anything about the guy, I don't think. So let's see if we can find some more things out. Maybe he visited a hotel? Got to sleep somewhere when you're in Sri Lanka, right? <gasps> oh, stop him. Catch him right now, brigands. He's moving very slowly. <laughs> A vile henchman. You must be on the right track. So if you went to the wrong uh, country, that's kind of fun. They're like, oh, I don't know anything. And they're like, my dog threw up last night. They don't tell you anything specific to the case. And that's how you know the trail's gone a bit cold. So we are in the right city. That's a good sign. All right, the bellhop says a reliable source told me he wanted to know the exchange rate for forints, and he had black hair. All right, our first clue that we earned on our own: black hair, forints, forints. Which country uses forints? Is the question. I don't have to like run this right now, do I? This is going to take time. Why? We're using this uh, it's just archaic 1990 technology. It takes three hours just to compute. All right. that That's fine right now. I don't need to. All right. Good. And that's in the computer. All right. Awesome. All right. Might need a bit more information. Forens? I'm not too sure. Again, some, some folks are guessing uh new jersey i saw the person you're looking for and he bo why are we talking we're talking to a parrot i just noticed i was taking it seriously till i looked down <laughs> whatever it worked in uh tropic uh star tropics he boarded a cruise ship flying a red white and green flag he was riding a motorbike okay budapest Budapest, Hungary. Let's not waste any more time. I feel good about that with the flag and all. To Budapest! If you, tick, if you pick the wrong city, you have to go back where you came from initially. You can't fly. If you're like, oh, wait, no, that's Budapest. You have to go back to Sri Lanka first in that case. We, don't, we definitely don't want to go to the wrong country. Budapest, the capital of Hungary, was once two cities, Buda and Pest, ah, separated by the Danube River. It's funny, I remember watching uh, Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego, the television program back in the day, and uh, one of the kids' answers, you know, the kids were, the contestants were all children, and uh, the guy said, all right, and what do you have, Steve, let's just say, and the kid, his answer was hungry, but instead of saying hungry or just, you know, hungry, he said, I got hungry, <laughs> and the host said, well, maybe you should eat something, and little kid Tony thought it was the the pinnacle of comedy at that time. Evidenced by the fact that I still remember that. <laughs> it's not that funny. All right, let's get some more clues. 
Uh, maybe back to the museum. They're obviously a fan of art if they're stealing whatever they stole in the first place. Oh, another vile henchman. Shoot him. Stop him. Or the curator, who looks a lot like the Mexico City curator, but let's set that aside for now. The person you're looking for was here, and he was researching aboriginal dreams. How aboriginal of him. That's a critic joke, actually. Uh, that sounds like he went to Australia, if I had to guess. I'd like some more clues about the guy. Thing is, I don't remember if we need more clues or if we can just, like, stay on his track so well that we just catch him. I don't know. We should go to Sydney right now. Let's not waste any more time. It's already Tuesday for guys. It's Wednesday. <laughs> he was here and he was smooching with my brother. Uh, good times. The capital of Australia is Canberra. I did not know that, actually. I would not have thought that. Did they change that in the last 20, 30 years? <laughs> I'm so bad at geography. Located in the southeast corner of the country between Sydney and Melbourne. Interesting. There's the Opera House there. A lot of great performances have taken place there. And as you would expect, it's sort of built in in the name. Uh, let's go to the museum again. Find another curator with the exact same look. <gasps> Are they like always freshly stealing something? Sources tell me he asked many questions about Malayan art. Okay. Malayan art. Let's go to the harbor. I would love to learn some more about this guy. A yacht flying a red and white flag. He sailed away. Does that mean he's into sailing? Is that a hobby? Music, mountain climbing, skydiving, swimming, croquet. No. Vehicle. Hold on. <laughs> Those are the only four features in the database. Every criminal in recorded history has, has either limped, had a ring, a tattoo, or a scar, or some jewelry. Those five. Never more than one. You can't have more than one. You either have a ring or you have some jewelry. <laughs> uh, the, the the mark of the, uh, the criminal. Wait, can we go with... Uh... Okay, no boats. Never mind. I have no idea who this guy is. Uh, more clues. A reliable source told me he was doing research on the economics of rubber plantations. Okay. Let's see what our options are now. Oh, God. So we have Bangkok, Singapore, or we can go back to Budapest. And what's everybody think? They said a red and white flag. We feeling good about Singapore? I was like, I know it's Southeast Asia somewhere, but we're feeling good about Singapore. All right, let's go to Singapore. It's a shorter flight too. Hopefully that'll be reflected in the time. Apparently not. We had to sleep that entire time. All right, we have three days, people. It's crunch time. The nation of Singapore, located near the equator in Southeast Asia, consists of one large island plus 40 smaller islands. There you go. Um, I feel like they're at the harbor. They like to, they like their sailing. Word is getting out. You're getting too close, gumshoe. <laughs> Thank you, harbor master. <laughs> Do you have anything better to tell me? Oh, that, that must mean they're in town. Well, uh, hmm. They're going to be at one of these places, and we don't know who they are. That's them. There goes the suspect. Yeah, we don't have a warrant. Our first case might be a bust, man. I don't know if they have black hair, but I think we got them. And if they have that mural, like, on their person. Oh, no. We didn't have a warrant. Did they have a motorcycle as their vehicle? Did I miss that? <laughs> Interpol here. 
Caught up with Nick Brunch. Oh, Nick Brunch. You saw that coming. You know what? LPW Briggins doesn't play by the typical rules. He kind of goes around. He circumvents the system. We're a loose cannon. We're one of those late 80s action police type movie types. That's our thing. Sometimes you gotta go. You can't go by the book all the time. That's what I'm saying. Alright, let's do another one. I'll be a bit better about trying to get a warrant this time. Plus, I now know better that we can afford to spend more time in each city to get more clues about the perp as long as we go to the right country every time. So, Because we still had, what, three days to go? You're a loose cannon, but a damn good cop. Reykjavik. Viking rune. Male suspect. Your assignment. Isn't that always the assignment? <laughs> Your assignment. Get crunked. Party down. All right. Iceland's governmental assembly. The Althing is the world's oldest surviving parliament. That's cool. All right. We're not going to waste any time computing right away because I already know the five suspects it could be. Man, I wonder if it's Nick Brunch, if he's like considering emboldened from that last bungled case of uh, LPW brigands. Still trying to live that one down. All right, let's get some uh, let's get some clues here to the bank. A suspicious person was here, and he changed his money to Austral's. The jewelry he wore was stunning. All right, finally, a, a witness who's not completely useless. Thank you, Teller. He had jewelry. Could have been a ring, but, like, how mean would that be if it was a ring and she said jewelry? I'm going to stick with that for now. Let's go to the harbor. I like rubbing elbows with the harbor masters. Ah, sailor! I saw the person you're looking for, and he sailed in a schooner flying a sun flag. Okay. I guess Tokyo. Can I want to get some more clues, though? Man. If we could ID this guy right away, that'd be awesome. The ambassador, the person you're looking for, was here and said he planned to have lunch with the president. He talked about a croquet match. Oh, my God. There's probably, like, two dudes, though, that like croquet and wear jewelry. Might be a bit soon to run the uh, the computer. Oh, but we are hot on this guy's trail. Does Argentina have a sun flag? <laughs> Don't mess with me. Let's go to the foreign ministry. Oh, we already talked to that guy, didn't we? <laughs> Why did we have to walk there, then? Um, I don't know. What are we thinking? Tokyo or Buenos Aires? Hmm. Or New York? I feel like it's Japan, the land of the rising sun, right? Is there a currency they were talking about, though? It's definitely Buenos Aires. Oh, my God. All right, we'll go to Buenos Aires. It was Austral's was the currency. Yeah, that was that was the giveaway. Buenos Aires, Argentina's capital, largest city, has a cosmopolitan atmosphere with many French, German, Italian, and English residents. That's nice. And this guy on a horse. Hopefully we'll find a vile henchman to know that we're on the trail. Yes! Good call, surprise. Excellent. That was a sneaky clue, by the way, that uh, sun flag. Sources tell me he was carrying an Aurelian Dictionary. Aurelian Dictionary. Okay. Another detective, by the way. Aurelian Dictionary. I saw the person you're looking for, and he drove away in a vehicle flying a red flag. Hmm. All right. Man, 
Gonna be nothing new here, Attaché. So this time, we have Bangkok, Moscow, or Katmandu. Huh. <laughs> I don't know, what are we thinking, gang? Feel good about Moscow? Obviously some red on that flag. This was 1990, so I'm trying to think of... I guess this would have just been Russia at that point. The Ural Mountains are nearby. All right. The Simpsons are going to Moscow. Moscow, the capital of the USSR, okay, is the site of the massive Kremlin compound, once the home of the Russian Tsars. Let's check out the bank. All right, good call. We're on the right track. All I know is that he changed his money to Crusados, and he had a nice convertible. All right, I think we know who this guy is now. Once I put in convertible, I don't think we need to know the hair. Of the five guys, who is this? Fast Eddie B! All right. Excellent. To the airport. Green, blue, and yellow flag, and he offered me a ride in his convertible. I mean, strictly off the record, did you take him up on that offer, flight attendant? Just saying. You know? Exciting guy, Fast Eddie B. Jewelry. All right. Same old stuff. Let's see what we got now. We can go to Buenos Aires again or Rio de Janeiro. I'm going to say with... Let's go Brazil. With all due respect to Bamako. Brazil, once a Portuguese colony, is the largest country in South America. All right. Let's see if Fast Steady B is still in Rio. Another vile henchman. We have at least one more country to go to. A suspicious person was here, and he planned to do a field study of Gila monsters. Oh, why does that sound familiar? And why does your face look like that? You don't look very Brazilian. Gila monsters. All I know is that he flew off in a plane with a red, green, and white foot. What? <laughs> But aren't we Gila monsters? This person, Aztec. All right, yep. We are going to Mexico City, gang. I do remember that from my lessons on the conquistadors. All right, dollars to donuts that Fast Steady B is still here in Mexico City, which this is kind of perfect. It's full circle. This is where... LPW Brigand's first case started off, if you remember correctly. All right. Let's find him. Get the hotel fast, Daddy. <gasps> Not at the hotel. It looks like I tell you just watch your step. <laughs> Did you just fire a gun at me, hotel manager? Is he at the airport? Tr trying to get out of Dodge? Nope. So by process of illumination, Facetti B is at the stock exchange in Mexico City. And we got a warrant with his name. Catch him, he's not wearing any pants. Get him. Get him. English Bobbies in Mexico City. Not sure about that. Yes! Suck it fast, Steady B. You're coming with us. Guess he was working on behalf of Carmen. That's what I like to see. I was like, yeah. I was like the uh, Robo Crook. He was my, because they had like a handful of 
the thieves and all that on the television show. I was like Robo Crook. Robo Crook in jail. The stuff we remember. He had the loot. Liking room, which is return of the grateful residents of Reykjavik. Don't worry about it. Don't mention it. Just doing my gerb. Hell yeah. I would like to have three successful cases. Oh, we got a promotion. One more clue to unravel. What's that? <laughs> what I'm going to do with all the space in my new bigger office? What? The U.S. flag was nicknamed Old Glory by Mini Driver? <laughs> See flags, U.S. history, legends about the flag. I've never known any any uh, you know work environment to offer conditional promotions. You know they give you a promotion or you don't. They're like, and we will promote you to captain if for five hundred points you can answer this question. Uh, apparently, it's a copy production question. Yes, does anyone know? who the U.S. flag was nicknamed Old Glory by. Blank driver. Seven letters. We feeling good about William, Matthew? I'll take you up on that. William driver. Ah, nice. Dedicate that sleuthage to you, Matthew. All right, let's do another case. I think we can retire after we've done three cases. <laughs> That's the normal uh, career trajectory for one of these. It's just such a demanding job, you know. Three cases, that's pretty much my limit. Three successful cases. Flash! National treasure stolen from Istanbul. The treasure has been identified as Santa Sofia Mosaics. Another dude. Man. Men are getting a bad name. Typical assignment. Track him down and arrest him. Sunday at 5. Just in time for Monday Night Football, apparently. I'm not really sure what that deadline is always about, because after that, we're like, meh, we let him go free after that. So, six days, eight hours. All right, one of the most beautiful sites in Istanbul, the largest city in Turkey, is the famous Blue Mosque. Let's go to the sport club. Maybe we can find out what their sport of choice is. I heard he asked if it would be dangerous to capture a venomous stonefish. He bragged about dangerous sports. Let's see. It's a dude. And his hobby. Tennis isn't especially dangerous. Music. Mountain climbing seems... Or skydiving. Uh, I feel like mountain climbing is the more dangerous sport. Quote, unquote. Rather than sky, I didn't mean to put that as skydiving. Skydiving's not really a sport as much as mountain climbing. I mean, strictly speaking, I don't think either is a sport, but but I digress. Let's go to the airport to ask questions. The sources tell me he was heading for a, an island in Southeast Asia. Huh. What are our options, actually? All right, so we have Singapore there. That helps us out. Um, should we go to the marketplace? We know where we're going. I just don't want to get there and then not know who this guy is. Money to dollars. He said he was a mountain climber. All right. So we're good with our mountain climber tag. Let's go to Singapore. Not waste any more time. Republic of Singapore has a population of more Singapore. 2.5 million people and is the site of one of the world's largest ports. <laughs> and like every other city in the world that has a sports club. We're on the right track. He's doing that little sidle. Although, out of that context, it kind of looks like a dance. The vial. Do the vial! Sources tell me he planned to mount a diving expedition in the Aegean Sea. Bragged about dangerous sports, but wasn't... Oh, skydiving. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You'd think, like, this guy 
is telling us that he had this conversation, basically. Can't you tell me, like, if he, what color his hair was and maybe if he had, like, a limp or a tattoo? You think you could knock out both of these from anyone that you talk to? It's a little crazy. But anyway. All right. Diving. Mykonos. Yeah. Definitely sounding like Greece. We get any more clues about this guy? All right, never mind. We're heading to Athens. Athens, Greece. Greece is a mountainous nation with a rugged shoreline and thousands of offshore islands, including Crete, Rhodes, Delos, and Mykonos. I feel like we're back in Silmaria now all of a sudden. All right, someone tell me something about this guy that I don't already know. We, I like that we never make any attempt to, like, apprehend any of these vile henchmen that are running around with clearly, like, like prison garb, like they just busted out and they've already stolen something, but it's fine. Sources tell me he wanted to know how perfume was made. I don't want to, like, stereotype, but I feel like that might be Paris. What else can we find out? <laughs> Go to Delos and get your magic staff. <laughs> I saw the person you're looking for, and he said he was looking to spend his vacation in an island nation. Okay. Okay. The person you're looking for play golf with the president and riding a motorbike. That's awesome. Well, the motorbike part is. The golf is... Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll hold off for now. So, perfume... Perfume. Can we go, like, can we see our, uh... Oh, Carmen Santiago, is she actually someone we can uh, go after at some point? That's exciting. Do I have any kind of, like, clues or anything? Do I have, like, a notebook that I have been writing this stuff down in? Apparently not. Um... Still... Singapore is an island nation. We keep going to Singapore. We just came from Singapore, actually. So that's not... That's not going to be... Moroni peeking back, Dad. I don't know. Moroni? That, that seems like... Yeah, we'll try that. Because we just came from Singapore, right? Capital of Camaros. Islamic Republic once ruled by the French. Okay, there's your perfume connection. Excellent. And sidling very awkwardly. If I could just get like a hair color of this guy, his money to dollars, he might be going to the US. Red, white, and blue flag. All right, just tell me something about the guy. Someone. Slave to fashion, and he was carrying a helmet. I don't think we can get anything from that. Slave to fashion. He might be in the jewelry in that case, but not necessarily. Thing is, like... Oh, it's Nick Brunch again. All right. Well, this is going to be especially satisfying because Nick Brunch, he's sort of my white whale. He's the one that got away in that first case. So, Nick Brunch. Let's go to the States. New York, here I come. I think most folks know about the Statue of Liberty. All right, Nick Brunch. Are you here in New York? No. It's all right. Let's just get our clue of where he's going next. Boil eggs in a hot spring. Hmm, hot springs. Could be like an Icelandic country. Mountain climber, left on the plane with a red and blue flag. What are our options? I'm going to say Reykjavik, but like, let's hold on just one second. A leg of lamb. How does he get that 
motorcycle everywhere, by the way. All right. Feeling pretty good about... Uh, I don't think they're going to have hot springs in Africa. So I feel pretty good about that. Let's try Iceland. Like, it's like the same 15 countries, basically. It's weird he knew that about the oldest surviving parliament. Yep. Nick Brunch is here in Reykjavik. Let's take him down. He's not wearing any pants either. We got our warrant. Another successful case. And that's good. Maybe we can also pin the other stuff on him. You know? The, uh... What did he steal the first time? I don't even remember. Better luck next time, Nick. No brunch where you're going. Ha-ha! All right, we'll do one more. Nick Brunch in jail. He had the loot. There you go. Classic mistake. Carrying that uh, mosaic around with you. Three more cases to your next promotion. Well, that's insane. But we will do one last case. Hopefully we have to catch him by Sunday because it's six days to my retirement, actually. I think it's very fitting. National treasure stolen from Montreal. A, the treasure has been identified as the Mounties Brass Buttons. <laughs> I laugh, but it's probably very, uh, very sacred to those people. So, another dude. It's all the dudes. All right. Sunday at five. I think someone mentioned that as we get promoted, we get less and less time to uh, solve these cases. Which, you know, it's the difficulty that they're ratcheting up. You think it would kind of be the other way. They'd give you a bit more leeway when you are you have a bit more experience. You've been there for a while and everything. And they're like, eh, Monday's fine. Tuesday, we can push it. Honestly, in this case, I think the Canadians would be just kind of chill and gentle. to be like, hey, whenever you can get it back to us is fine. Take your time. Let's check out that Montreal Sports Club. A reliable source told me he wanted to photograph wild yaks in their native habitat. Is this croquet again? Is this frickin' Nick Brunch again? Oh, I mean, Fast Eddie? Wild yaks in their native habitat. Yaks. Orange, white, and green flag. He hated dangerous sports. Well, that doesn't really help me because I already put croquet. Baggage clerk. <laughs> my my uh, Canadian accent needs work, but we have an actual Canadian authority, so I will take that. Migratory patterns of wild yaks. Where might we find some wild yaks? New Delhi? Istanbul, or Mexico City. They said there was orange in the flag, in which case that sounds more like India. We feeling good about New Delhi? Feeling good about that? I'll try it. Got yaks in India? Probably yaks there, right? Let's find out. We haven't missed yet. Been pretty good with the clues. Oh yeah. That's the sidle of success. That's how we know we're on the right clue. Right trail, even. A suspicious person was here and asked if there was a ferry across the Mozambique Channel. Interesting. Unfortunately, that doesn't tell us anything about the perp themselves. Left with a uh, plane with green and white flag on its wing, and he talked about croquet. Is that all this guy talks about, unfortunately? And a palace. 
Yes, yeah, somewhere in Africa when they're talking about Mozambique and volcanoes. Okay. Are we going back to frickin' Moroni again? I guess so, right? I guess when it's East Africa, it's gonna be Moroni. Whatever. Federal is... Oh, we already read that, didn't we? Active Volcano, that's good. Yeah. It's like, I'm a lower tier guy. They don't care about the stuff that I steal. Money to dollars. Nothing about his hair color, though. Paper on the socioeconomic consequences of skyscrapers. All right, we're going to America. Probably New York, but can you tell me anything about this guy? He sped away in a vehicle flying... A red, white, and blue flag. He sped away. That sounds like a... Ah, oh, that could be a race car, though. Yeah. All right. Let's go to New York. I forget if New York is the only city in America that shows up in this game. All right. Next clue. It's a little late. Nine o'clock. What are you doing here? The museum is open here tonight. My sources tell me he wanted to study sexual dimorphism in mountain gorillas. I liked the ring he had on. Like that smile. I like the ring. Do we have enough? Croquet ring. Scar grain ult for a change. All right. Excellent. And they said something about gorillas. I guess... Kigali. Kigali. I don't think there's any, uh, anywhere else. A red, yellow, and green flag. We got time, so I'm just going to milk this a bit more. He was opening a tin factory. Interesting. Yeah, let's just go. Yeah, let's go back to Africa. Hey, there you go. <laughs> That's where the plane touched down. That's right outside the airport. Golly, is the capital of Rwanda, a country of lush jungle terrain, which is the home of the endangered mountain gorilla. There's one right there. Let's go to the Golly Sport Club. They're sidling criminal. Bigger fish. I'm going to let you go for now, buddy. Backpack to the ancient... Uh, ruins of an ancient Veda village. Um, that was Colombo, right? That's the problem with this game. Like the clues start to overlap on your third game. Unless I went to the wrong country. Nope, that's it. <laughs> Probably best that we're ending after this one. At the airport or at the palace? Probably thinks the ruler at the palace is going to uh, give him asylum. Not with this warrant, you're not. Stop him. Stop him, local English bobbies and Colombo. Excellent. All right, we went three for four. Not too shabby for a rook. I'm sorry, sleuth, LPW Brigands. Not too shabby in the least. After I remembered, you know, they prefer to have a warrant in this world. An Interpol. Thanks to your help, Montreal Police have apprehended Scar Grainolt. He had the loot, the Mounties Brass Buttons, which were returned to the grateful residents of Montreal. I wanted to once just say, like, the the resentful residents of Montreal. But there you go. Good work. Excellent. Nope, I'm going to go out on top. Is that it? Is it just close the game? No, there you go. I feel like we're playing 
King's Quest by this screen right here. Anyway, that was Where in the World is Carmen San, San Diego. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, everyone, who helped me out <laughs> with my terrible geography skills that I've talked about numerous times. But uh, anyway, tune in next time for more fun, 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 and maybe educational times right here on Let's Play with Brigands. Hope to see you then. Uh, Thank you for watching, and please hit that subscribe button to get notified every time I put up a new video or go live with one of these fantastic games. And check the description of this video to see what song is playing right now.